This is your First Alert 5 weather with Jessica Van Meter. Welcome back. Happy Saturday, and it's going to be a happy day for many of the ski resorts. There's a look in Keystone, one of the many resorts that picked up a lot of snow over the past few days. They came in with a foot of fresh snow over the past few days, and other resorts racking up even more. Loveland came in with 18 inches of fresh snow. Monarch got 19 inches. Breckenridge coming in with 29 inches of new snow over the past several days and much of that falling just over the past three days with the system that moved through areas of the mountains. Today it's going to be a dry day for the skiers, but certainly a powder day for many of the resorts. Temperatures getting into the 20s and 30s for our highs across the high country. Lower elevation areas dealing with a little bit of fog this morning. Sky camera bike speak not showing up, but we do have some low visibility, especially around Pueblo and Colorado Springs. Airport in Pueblo has been consistently reading under a mile for visibility all morning long. That extends back towards Canyon City, La Junta, and up towards areas of Colorado Springs. So if you do have plans to head out this morning, be sure to keep those headlights on and be careful of where you're going in that fog. We should see that lifting pretty quickly as we go through the morning hours for most areas. It holds on a little longer for areas of the Arkansas River Valley. Not a lot of that showing up on satellites. Very low to the ground, but we are going to be dealing with the effects of a cold front for today. That cold front kind of right up against the mountains. So temperatures today will be a few degrees cooler than yesterday. Still pretty decent for this time of year, though. We'll make it into the 40s across the higher elevations of northern El Paso and Teller counties. Mid to upper 40s around Colorado Springs. Again, the model showing that fog clearing pretty quickly, especially around Colorado Springs. It holds on a little longer towards areas like Pueblo with temperatures getting into the upper 40s there. Should be able to make it into the low 50s for areas of the plains, especially where we see that sunshine a little longer. We'll see the better chance for warmer temperatures throughout the day today. Temperatures get warmer still heading into tomorrow back into the 50s around Colorado Springs should be a very nice Sunday to wrap up the weekend. Our next chance for some much needed moisture still for the lower elevations really going to come on Monday. Looks like mainly Monday afternoon at this point. We'll be keeping an eye on it, but metal's pretty consistent with bringing in at least some moisture for the area along with some colder temperatures. Highs only around 30 degrees for your Monday. After that, things do dry out and warm up for the rest of the week. We're back into the 50s by Thursday and Friday. In Pueblo, close to 50 today. We'll see that morning fog and work on clearing those skies throughout the day. Should be mostly sunny and temperatures in the 50s for tomorrow. Monday, going to be our shot at some snow showers and some colder temperatures with highs only in the 30s, warmer and drier for the rest of the work and school week. Canyon City, only in the 50s for today and tomorrow. We cool off into the 30s on Monday with that chance for some mainly light snow showers, warmer and drier for the rest of the week. Back into the mid 50s by Thursday and Friday. Woodland Park, right around 44 today warmer still for tomorrow. We get that big drop in temperature heading into Monday with highs only in the 20s for the higher elevations. Monday going to be our best shot at any significant snow and that would really just be a couple inches for some of those higher elevation areas at this point. Certainly something we'll be keeping an eye on.